Hey guys, here's your first workout for Stark Home Fit starting tomorrow, Tuesday, the 17th of March, 2020. So I'm sure you've heard the email or seen the email or a social media post that uh, we are closing down because of COVID-19, but you can still get your ass into your own class by doing these workouts. Do the workout, get a little video clip of it, and then tag us, uh, hashtag Stark Strength, and I don't know, we'll do something with it, but we wanna see some pretty cool videos. We wanna see that you guys are still moving and that you're not gonna get all sloppy and stuff like that. So when we come back in like two or three weeks, you're gonna be a little bit better rather than a little bit softer. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, so the workout is called Body Rockin'. What you're gonna do is five rounds. You can do this for time. You can do this nice and slow for quality. I, I put some intensity into it, but anyways, body rocking is the workout. I'll go through the movements with you. Movement one, gecko push-ups. You're going to do 10 gecko push-ups. These are a hell of a lot of fun. We don't normally do them in class, so they're going to be even more fun for that reason. We drop down onto the ground, perfect push-up position. As you drop into your push-up, your elbow come, or your knee comes up to your elbow. Push up, that's one. Other side, two, three. You get the idea. That's your 10 gecko push ups, five per side, 10 total. Once you get that done, you're going to go 20 squat jumps. So, just like you would normally do in class, drop down into your squat, throw those arms up. So, try to get some vertical height by throwing momentum in the direction you want to travel. Arms start back, boom, up. 20 reps. That was three and I'm breathing heavily already. Next up is 10 inch worm with a shoulder touch. So we usually do this in warm ups. We sometimes add a push up. You're already doing a gecko push up. So we're not gonna get you doing that again. But you are gonna use your core for this. You are gonna use your shoulders, your arms. Let's start off keeping those legs as straight as you can. Hands touch the ground, walk it out. Plank position, bring that rib cage down to the hips, doing a demo. And then from here, you're gonna do a shoulder tap, shoulder tap, walk your hands back, get to this position, hang up for a sec, back up, tap, tap, walk it back. Two reps. You're gonna do 10 of those. Should be feeling it here. If you're feeling it in your back, it's because these guys aren't doing their job. So maybe don't walk it out as far or just tighten your abs up. Last up, 20 back lunges. We're gonna do a one touch back lunge. So basically, we're gonna start off here, 10 on one side, 10 on the other. So from here, my one touch is back here, that's it. One, down, two, down, three at the top. Flex those quads as much as you can. Squeeze that ass as much as you can. Stand as tall as you can. You're gonna do 10 on one side, 10 on the other. Once you're done that, you start back at the top again. Is that it? That's it. You start back at the top again. Five rounds of that, four time. Throw it up in our Facebook group if you get that done. Show us a little video. Tag us on Instagram to show us that you're still working. Your finisher is 10 rounds of, it's not that bad, 10 rounds of leg raises. So what you're gonna do is you'll keep those arms out off to the front or inside. I'm a bit of a sissy, so I'm gonna use a mat to sit on. Arms out, fingers sprayed, uh, splayed apart. And from here, I'm gonna keep my feet together. I'm gonna bring my feet up as high as they possibly can. One. Pushing my fingers into the ground as I bring those feet up. Three. Four. 10 reps there, and then I'm gonna go to an oblique crunch. So I'm gonna flip on at my side. Right hip down, right elbow down, and I'm gonna have that left hip rotated forward slightly. So I've got my obliques kicking in, and I'm gonna close that gap between my ribs and my hips, back down. 15 reps per side. As you bring your hip up towards the ceiling, I'm bringing my left hip up towards the ceiling, I'm closing the gap on my right side, so my right rib cage is coming down to my right hip. I'm squeezing there. I'm gonna get 15 on one side done, 15 on the other. You should be pleasantly smoked within this area and the lower abdominals by the time you're done this. Okay, have fun with it. Give us some feedback. 
Let us know if you're using it. And I think that's about it. Have fun, everyone.